On Saturday, we learned that our friend here, John Parker Wilson, was the scout team quarterback last week preparing Alabama for LSU. So you were Danny Etling for yes. the week. I want to know, how did this come about? How did they, did they approach you? Did they contact you first? Uh, so about like what you would expect, I got a call on Tuesday at lunch uh, from Coach Cochran. asked me if I'd come down to practice. And I was like, yeah, I'd love to come to practice. Why not? The only thing is I didn't know I was actually going to be practicing. He filled me in that, and after some struggle, uh, I said, yeah. I mean, it's been three years since I've played, so really didn't know exactly what, how I was going to respond, my body-wise, but I got done there, and it, it was fun. It was a good time. Yeah, so how did your body respond? What was this experience like for you personally? Uh, a lot better than I thought. <laughs> uh, You're still in shape, right? I'm still in shape. I still work out every now and then, but obviously not as much as I used to. Uh, but get out there. Uh, and just threw it around a little bit. It's amazing how much uh, less stressful it is when you know the guys aren't going to hurt you. So one of my conditions was definitely I was going to be in a black jersey. That means you don't get hit. So I had to talk Jonathan Allen and those guys up front, make sure that we were in agreement that they weren't going to hit me, and then, then I'd go in there and throw it around a little bit. Was there any smack talk going on when you were out there? Uh, not or really. encouragement? Not really. Uh, you know, it's, it's amazing how fast practice happens and, and getting ready for the game. Uh, they had a quarterback go down, Alabama did, and they needed an extra guy just to get through practice. Um, and I guess one of the rules uh, that is currently in the NCAA is allows alumni to come back and help out. So I was able to come back uh, and get through practice and try to give them the best look as I can. So luckily they have got the, the cards drawn of how practice is supposed to go. So got in there, threw it around a little bit, had a little bit of fun. And, and you know, obviously like I think it helped out a little bit with the shutout on Saturday. I like to think that too. Uh, Blake Sims, the only other quarterback so far that's come back and done that this year. Just being called upon for you, being part of this experience and knowing that this team looks to somebody like you to, to come back and essentially get them ready for such a big game. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I uh, knew Blake Sims did it a couple of weeks ago. Never thought that I'd get to go back. I mean, I'm sitting here. Uh, financial advisor, obviously a lot different than Making playing football. Making them stacks, baby. Right, a lot different. Sitting behind a desk and then to go out there and uh, throw it around kind of took me back a few years. But it's good to know that, that I, I could still get up there and throw it around uh, with the young guys. So you mentioned Blake Sims, obviously coming out to be on the scout team earlier. Have they talked about any other players that are going to join the scout team, come out and get the team ready? Well, I don't know about moving forward, but I know this week uh, – as they reported, you know, during the game, Trent Richardson was out there with me in the backfield also. So I know when he came out, and, and the players didn't really know about this, so when he came out, the guys up front are not wanting to hit. I mean, he's a big guy. Yeah. And, and I know I wasn't getting hit, but Trent's in there running it like he used to. Uh, definitely, you know, something like they would have seen on Saturday, having a big guy like that and running the ball. Obviously, he's still in great shape. Um, but, you know, right now, I think – if they could keep doing it and getting these guys to come back, it definitely helps. You're getting a different look. Some guys that are, you know, have fresh legs, that have been out there, that have played before, have been in these big situations. It's 100% within the rules, so I don't see why them or anybody else continues to do it. All right, John Parker, I got to ask you, what was your, if you could grade your performance, did you get picked off by anybody? What would you grade yourself out as? I would say it was a lot better than I thought. I did get picked off, but at the same time. Who picked you off? Well, we threw a couple. But I definitely threw more, a couple. Oh. more, more so, touchdowns, more touchdowns, and interceptions. But you got to remember, with scout team, we're servicing the defense. So you, you're not throwing the ball out of bounds like you would in the game. You're trying to give the guys a look. They're breaking on the balls. They're getting ready. Um, but I would, I'd give myself an A. I mean, pitching a shutout on defense, I would definitely give it an A. Okay, fair enough. Now, intimidation factor. I know they weren't allowed to contact you, but who intimidated you most when you were out there on defense? That's a great thing. I didn't get hit, so it wasn't intimidating at all. Now, they were fighting over who was the first one there, so they got the, the sack for practice. Uh, who sacked I, you the most? Well, they're all, they're all getting out there, so I, I don't know. We're looking downfield, trying, trying to get down, but it was, um, it's a lot easier throwing the ball when they're not going to hit you. Any compensation come with this? I mean, you're taking off work to go out there and throw the ball around. No, this was for, you know, Coach Cochran called me, and, and the last thing, I, I thought he was joking when he called, and, <laughs> and I said, you know, if you need me, if you need me, I'm there. And he's like, we need you. So hopped in the car, drove down, spent a couple of days in Tuscaloosa, reliving, reliving the good old days.